Hello, my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. And in this week's quick video, I wanna cover how do you display values which seem to be missing after creating a relationship in Tableau? Uh, let me pop back to the data source tab here and give you a little background for the data that we're gonna be using in this exercise. Um, so I've got some New York City uh, motor vehicle collisions data. Um, on the one hand, I've got a table called crashes. And then on the other hand, I've got a table called vehicles. Um, so these different tables, um, uh, they do have some interconnection, right? Maybe over the course of a one year period, you've got 10,000 crashes and 50,000 vehicles that were involved. Um, it does also seem like, we'll, we'll find this out as we look at the data, it does always seem like there's not always a vehicle tied to every collision which makes you wonder, how's that possible? I wonder if maybe it's like e-bikes or maybe it's just incomplete data. I'm not totally sure, um, but check this out. So right now I've already got the relationship set up on collision ID. On the left side, I've got the crashes data. There's 110,000 rows there. On the right side, I've got the vehicles data. That's 210,000 rows of data. Okay, now let me do this. I'm going to grab my collision ID and this is coming from the first extract. So this is from the crashes table. I put this on the row shelf. So are you sure you wanna do that? Yeah, I'm sure Tableau, thanks for checking. Okay, so now I can see um, very similar to the number of rows that we saw in this table, there's 110,000 collision IDs, okay? Uh, now check this out. If I go down to get the collision ID from the vehicles table, and let's just put that side by side on the row shelf with the collision ID from the crashes table. And I say, add all members. Here's where things get interesting. Check this out. Our number of rows, which are showing up in this worksheet now, is has dropped from 110,000 down to 102,000. Um, so what happened? I don't totally know, to be honest. I haven't actually had a chance to look at this data in detail to see what's up with those 8,000 collisions. But my guess is that that collision, I, you know, there was a collision ID in the crashes table that for whatever reason didn't exist in the vehicles table. Again, we don't know if that's data cleanliness, if that's by design. So the question is, uh, what do we do about this? And, and maybe I should also tell you why is this happening? So the thing about relationships in Tableau is if you have a little bit of a background in, in joins, you probably know that with a join, you can say like, give me a left join, and then you would never lose a row of data from the left table. Uh, relationships are a little bit more nebulous than that. Um, if you're not using a measure, like in this case, I'm only using dimensions, it's essentially gonna simulate like an inner join. So it's only gonna show you in this case, collision IDs which existed in both tables. Now, once I start using measures, that changes a little bit, right? So if I said, oh, uh, what was the number of uh, persons that were injured? Now, if I put that on my column shelf, it's interesting. Now it's gonna go back to 110,000 rows of data. So presumably there's, you know, again, there's like 8,000 collisions, which didn't exist in the vehicles data, but they, they do here uh, in the crashes data. So let me grab the collision ID from the vehicles data, throw it on filters, and let me just try and keep those values which are null. And that would be interesting to see, like, okay, here's a collision ID which exists on the left side, not the right side, one person injured. Okay, so that's one option to get missing values show up is to use measures from the table um, that that dimension belongs to. Another option would be go to the analysis drop down on your toolbar, go to table layout, and then say show empty rows. So right now, if you go look down at the status bar, it's back to 102,000. I say show empty rows, and that's going to bump it all the way back up to 110,000. Okay, so I hope that was helpful for you, giving you a little bit of a backdrop into where you know what's going on with your missing values um, and and how to show those if they seem to be you know disappearing after you've created a relationship and brought some fields into your worksheet. Um, so thank you so much for following along with this video. Uh, if you check out this info button up here in the top corner, we run Tableau classes every single month: the basics of Tableau Desktop, advanced calculations, Tableau prep all kinds of things. We'd love to have you join um, for one of those. And uh, if you have questions, let us know. We drop new videos here every week and we'd love to have you follow along for that as well. All right, so until next time, take care. Goodbye.